Hello friends, welcome to our YouTube channel Freedom of Mind. Today in this class I will discuss about the simple future tense. In the previous classes I have already discussed about the present tense and also the past tense. And I have also discussed about the parts of these tenses. Okay, so uh, today I will discuss about the active part of simple future tense. So let's start our class. The simple future tense. What is the definition of the simple future tense? The definition of simple future tense is that the simple future tense expresses an action that will happen in future near or remote. Okay. The simple future tense expresses an action that will happen in future near or remote. And what is the first rule of the simple future tense? In this class, I will discuss about the active part of the simple future tense and in the next class, I will discuss about the passive part of the simple future tense. So, our first rule of the simple future tense of active part is that active a affirmative, active affirmative, okay. So, uh, what is the uh, rules of the simple future tense? At first, I have written subject, the short form of subject is that SUVJ then i have written uh, shall will then i have written main verb one or uh, the present form of main verb then i have written object the short form of object is that obj then i have written rest this is the rule of affirmative okay uh, and this rules belongs to the simple future tense okay and what is the example i shall buy a pen here i is the subject shall is the auxiliary verb by is the main verb the present form of main verb by then i have written uh, a pen this is called uh, object okay this is the object and here uh, there is no and here is no uh, um, other words that belongs to the part of rest okay so this sentence is in form of affirmative okay now i will discuss about negative part the negative part of the simple future tense that belongs to active part what I have written? Subject. At first you will write subject, then what will write? Shall or will. Next you must write not, then you will write main verb or the, uh, the present form of main, main verb, then you will write object, then you will write rest. What is our example? I shall not buy a pen. I shall not buy a pen. Okay. Our And this sentence is in negative sense. I shall not buy a pen. Pen. So, uh, this is the rule of negative part. This is the rule of negative sentence. Okay. And this rule must belongs to the simple future tense. Our next example or next rule is that or next structure of the simple future tense that belongs to interrogative part. Uh, you must at first you will write shall we then you will write subject then you will write the present power mem member or mv1 then you will write object then uh, what I have written? Rest. And you must uh, put here the interrogative mark. Okay. The note of interrogation. Okay. What is our example? Shall I buy a pen? Note of interrogation. Here shall is the auxiliary, model auxiliary. Then I have written I, the subject. Then I have written the present form of main verb by. Then I have written a pen. This is called a, uh, this is called an object. Okay. And here is no or other words that belongs to the part of rest okay so uh, this is the uh, uh, this uh, this sentence this sentence is the example of interrogative sentence and this sentence must belongs to the simple future tense our next tip example is the active interrogative negative what is our rule at first you will write shall will then you must write subject then you must write not next then the present form of main verb then you will write object then you will write rest and you then you must give the note of uh, interrogation the marks of the marks of not interrogation okay what is our example shall i not buy a pen then you will give the uh, marks of in uh, notes of interrogation okay what is our example shall i not buy a pen and this sentence must belong to the part of interrogative negative okay uh, so uh, these four kind of rules uh, this is the four kind of rules 
active affirmative, active negative, active interrogative, active interrogative negative. And here uh, I have given some uses of uh, the simple future tense when you will use the when you will use the simple future tense in a sentence. Okay, when uh, the sentence express a promise. When the, when the sentence express a promise or an instant decision or an instant decision, then you must use uh, this tense, okay, the simple future tense. Uh, what is the exception? What is the exception? Uh, when the sentence is in present form and uh, you can say uh, be going to, be going to plus main verb. What is the example? We are going to buy a car. Uh, this is the exception. Uh, Sometimes we uh, we will use uh, this kind of rules. Be going to plus main verb, a uh, present form of main verb. And this is the example. We are going to buy a car. We are going to buy a car. But this sentence must belong to the simple future tense. And this is the uh, and this is the exceptional rules. Okay. So here I have discussed the total class in English. In the next class, I will discuss the simple future tense in Bengali. Okay. So I think this class will be very helpful to all the students who wants to learn the English grammar in an easy way. Today, here I am closing this class. In the next class, I will give you some special information about an important content of English grammar. Okay. So. Uh, if you like this video, you must click the like button and also subscribe our channel to get all the notification immediately. So, thanks for watching this video. Take care and goodbye.